Okay, just to um, to repeat again a little bit about what I said this morning or earlier at the end, during the class. Make sure that you begin the sentence, your sentence stem with the subject love. Now there might be some exceptions. I noticed here uh, Fernanda is using self love, which I think for her topic is also a good option. Okay, so um, in most cases, try to simplify, make shorter your sentence stems. And again, we want to begin with the main clause. All right, so almost without exception, I think all of our sentences are going to begin with the word either love or perhaps self-love. And then you can choose which verb comes comes later. All right, you, we don't all have to use the same verbs. You choose the verb that's most appropriate based on the meaning of the sentence that you're trying to articulate. So try to keep that in mind. Also review if you need to these list of six items here at the top of the document. OK, I won't go over those again, but if you have questions about this list, uh, let me know. But in, again, in most cases, let's try to simplify our sentence stems and then go with each of the three options using the different connectors. So, but, and because. Okay, guys, uh, I really like uh, Kim and Marcella's uh, sentence stem. It's very short, concise, begins with the word love. This is what we're after. Love makes our ideas um, to know how to love others. Love makes our ideas or love makes our ideas to reveal how we love others, perhaps, right? But it's very short, concise, and now they can build on this sentence stem with the three sentences below using so, but, and because. Number seven is another good example. Self-love means admitting and accepting your mistakes. Short, concise, now we can build on that sentence stem with the three different uh, connectors. Another good example, love, I would say love can change the world to develop the welfare of others. That's how I would uh, say that, but that's another very good sentence stem. Now remember this is a sentence stem, so we don't need a period after because again, this is just a, the first part of the rest of the three sentences, right? So remember that a sentence stem is just a portion of a sentence, not a complete sentence. So I would say love can change the world to develop the welfare of others. That's how I would say that. But another very good example. Uh, Danielle, let me know if you have um, some suggestions about a or have questions about your sentence stem. Uh, Danielle, are you in the uh, the live chat? All right, guys. Um, let me uh, review once again what we need to do to complete today's assignment. Today's going to be the the last day to complete this assignment. The instructions are to include three sentence stems with different connectors, right? below each of our seven different uh, main topics. Now, make sure that when you're creating your sentence stem that you're not using the words from the title of each of your points, okay? So again, radical open-mindedness, we're not gonna use that term. We're, we're, we're gonna use different terms to mean something similar or maybe even provide some examples. Our sentence stem should begin with the word love. And it should include at the beginning a main clause. OK, so again, most of us are doing that here. We've seen some examples uh, here today in class. Try to avoid the pronoun it. Try to avoid the phrase it is important. I would also try to avoid um, adverbs of frequency, sometimes, you know, seldom, always avoid absolutes. Okay, I would also try to avoid those. 
And I think that's it. I think that's what we have here in our list. If you need to, please review this list of six items to avoid. Again, review the instructions here at the top. And continue working as you need to to try to finish uh, to finish this activity. Remember to also remove the comments. Okay, I left a few comments today, not many, but just go ahead and remove, delete those comments from the Word document as you complete uh, the assignment. Okay, are there any questions, guys, about, about the assignment, about what we need to do? All right, if there are no more questions, then uh, I will go ahead and conclude today's class. Feel free to continue working in the Word document as you need to uh, for the rest of uh, today uh, to complete the assignment. And then tomorrow I'll take one last look at it and uh, submit your grades. All right, so we'll go ahead and stop there for today, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you guys tomorrow at 9 o'clock. All right, take care. Thank you. Bye.